Hey there guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is John Campia and this is a special user submitted question video. Now where we got this question was, every day on the John Campia show, Monday through Friday, people send in questions, but on the rare occasion that somebody sends in a tip of like $50 or more, I like to honor that by not only answering the question on the show, but also answering it again later in its own standalone video. So that's what we're going to do right now. And this one comes to us from Mr. TJ Lin who writes, Looking at worldwide box office take for DiCaprio's five last films, it's quite impressive considering his films are non-franchise, adult-driven dramas. Can a case be made that he's one of the last remaining movie stars, other the other being Dwayne The Rock Johnson? All right, thanks a lot for sending that in, man. And yeah, listen, we talk a lot on our show, uh, The John Campus Show, Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. live Pacific Standard Time, for those of you who aren't regular viewers. Um, we've talked a lot on the show about the whole notion of movie stars and what happened to the era where a legitimate box office draw movie star could guarantee a certain amount of box office for your movie. There used to be an era by putting the right movie star in your movie, you're guaranteed to at least make money, right? That doesn't really exist anymore. Now, movie stars are still important because the average film goer seeing a movie star they recognize in a movie gives that movie credibility in their eyes, but kind of gone are the days that it guarantees big box office success. I think the last one that we had that really was just put him in a movie and it'll make big money was Will Smith. You could make an argument though today that Dwayne The Rock Johnson is that guy because even though not every single one of Dwayne Johnson's movies make huge bank, they absolutely make more bank than they have any right. I mean, Rampage, that video game movie he was in, Rampage, wasn't the world's biggest box office success, but it was a huge hit and it made far more money than it would have if almost anybody else had been starring in it, and that's kind of the star that he is. But you raise a great question with Leonardo DiCaprio, because he, as a movie star, he's not doing the big action flicks, he's not doing the big comic book movies, he's not doing the big franchise films. As you point out, he's doing the more adult-oriented dramas, these types of things that are standalone films, the kind of antithesis of what you would think of of the big box office movie. And yet, in particular, his last five films, he just keeps cranking out bank. I mean, let's look at it right now. Here are the last five films that he's done. For example, his last one that he just did, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, made $371 million worldwide. Before that, the film he won his Academy Award for, The Revenant, he made $532 million. With the film before that, also working with Martin Scorsese, he made The Wolf of Wall Street, which netted almost $400 million at $389 million. His one before that, probably the weakest film out of this bunch, but still not bad, was The Great Gatsby that made $353 million. And then, of course, before that, one of my favorite films of his and Quentin Tarantino's is Django Unchained that made $449 million. So I think when you look at these numbers and you start to understand that these are numbers for all films that are not franchises, not sequels, not big action, sci-fi, spectacles, comic book movies, whatever, they're adult-oriented dramas, and he's still pulling in that type of bank with all of those films, I would suggest that, yeah, I think you're right. I think if there is any movie star today that you could make an argument for as maybe still being quote-unquote bankable, other than The Rock, it very may very well be Leonardo DiCaprio. By the way, it also just helps that he's one of the best actors on the planet right now, finally winning his own Academy Award, and he's going to win more in the future, that's for certain. But I think you're right. When you sit down and look at it, can you imagine the kind of box office a Leonardo DiCaprio film could pull if he did decide to do some big sci-fi action comic book movie franchise sequel? Can you imagine what kind of bank he could pull in then? Because if he's doing this with adult-oriented dramas, I can only imagine what he could do if he was in these bigger blockbuster kind of things. So yes, I do agree. I think he can be considered right up there. Question is, guys, do you think Leonardo DiCaprio can be considered right up there? Is there another name that maybe we're not considering other than The Rock and Leonardo DiCaprio? Jump on down to the comments section below and let me know your thoughts. All right, guys, that'll do it for me for this video. Thanks a lot for being here. My name's John Campia, and until the next time, Bye-bye.